Dude, I'm telling you, they're around. They're dancing. Drunk. Good evening, wrestling fan. Welcome to another edition of XPW TV. We are just two weeks away from the rapture. Stop it! Rapture at the Olympic Auditorium as the Vampiro is going to feel the wrath of the Messiah, Chico. It is not going to be a night to be missed. Are you done? What's with the eyes? You see in the rapture again, a little Cosmo, Larry. Nah. Fans, aside from the Messiah defending the XPW World Heavyweight title against Vampiro, we're going to have, I can't believe this, another number one contention match for the XPW King of the Death Match title between Kid Chaos, who beat White Trash Johnny Webb last time at Redemption, going against his own uncle, Supreme. Now, this is just wrong. Time and time again, a number one contender is named, and time and time again, Rob Black screws him. Unbelievable. Jacob, this is the brilliant. The brilliant. The brilliant. The brains of the Donald Trump, of the porn on the wrestling business, Mr. Robert Black, Jacob. Taking the blood against the blood. And then the blood is spilled. And whoever wins, it don't matter. Because in the end, the winner is Mr. Robert Black. Entiende? Entiende? Entiende, chick. Enta moron. Not an enchilada. Fans, we also saw Angel challenge Lady Victoria. Did you see that? Into his version. Hope that wasn't for Angel. In a bra and panties match, his version of a West Hollywood street fight. And ladies and gentlemen, we are going to see the beautiful sexy Lizzie Borden prove that she is the only woman worthy of being in the XPW ring as she take on the mayor gone. And keep in mind that this match will feature no interference from the Robert Black Army. They will not be present at the ringside. Fans, all this and much more coming, like you said, at Rapture Rivera Saturday night, July the 7th, in the heart of downtown Los Angeles. Only two weeks away, folks. Tickets are very limited as we speak right now. And of course, you can go to Ticketmaster to get them. 213. 480-3232, all the Ticketmaster locations around the Southland or at Ticketmaster.com. Now, a very few amount of limited specialty tickets are still available only through XPW. Call them up, 818-755-8757, or you can come to the Palacio offices right here in North Hollywood, 11133 Van Owen Street, Suite Letter D, or... You can go to xpwrestling.com Saturday night. Once again, a big Saturday night in the heart of downtown LA, just about three or four blocks away from Staples Center. Rapture, Saturday night, July the 7th, 8 p.m. Unbelievable. I can't wait. I can't wait either, Chico. Big night at the Olympic Auditorium. But right now, fam, don't go anywhere because in a little bit, right here on the SPW TV, we are going to see the match that lead up to this West Hollywood. A three fighting. La bobería esa que tú estás hablando. As we see the match, the historic debut encuentro between Angel and the beautiful Lady Victoria. Right here. The dawning of a new era. Old rivalries rekindled. And new enemies emerge. As XPW presents Rapture live Saturday night, July 7th, from the Grand Olympic Auditorium in LA. Call Ticketmaster 213 480 3232 or the XPW box office at 818 755 8757. Who will survive the Rapture? Fans, of course, Chris Kloss here. Last time I told you all about the four new shirts available at Rapture. This is the big news the brand new XPW New Jack t shirt. Look at that. The front, the back, four justifiable homicides. Do you want to be number five? Available Saturday night, July 7th at downtown LA at Rapture, or go right now to xpwrestling.com and get them on the web. 
Chris Kloss here. I showed you the new Jack t-shirt. Now I'm going to show you the first XPW BBD baptized in blood, the original from the Hollywood Palace. See how it all started in XPW hardcore style. Get up! Saturday night, July the 7th at the Grand Olympic Auditorium for Rapture, or get them tonight at www.xpwrestling.com. Now, as we said earlier, Angel and Victoria are set to go head-to-head uh, -head in a bra and panties match. Now, this will be the third time at Rapture, Saturday night, July 7th, that they'll meet one-on-one. -on -one inside the squared circle. Braun, Penn, that's oh. right, Chico. And Lady Sayel, my wrestling fan, you remember the first time they meet was in a six-man tag team match as Victoria joined her compatriot, the Mexico Most Wanted, Halloween and Damon, as they face the Robert Black Army in the form of John Crone, Crack, and of course, the annual Chico. And this match was all over the place, back and forth. But it ended up in the victory for the Black Army as Victoria took the full force, oh, the full yeah. impact of the 450 a splash on the John Crone. Yeah, but you got to admit, Victoria did get some fair shots in on Angel. I mean, smacking, punching, delivering it to Angel. Losing the match, however, only made her want to get back in the ring with him like you don't know, Chico. So the match was set for redemption. No outside interference. No partners, and this match was to prove who was the better bitch. One of your favorites, Larry Rivera. Ahí está, chico. That is what is the prototypical example of the beautiful Hispanic woman. Open your eyes and take a good look. You have all these women around here running around with the plastic modification, surgical. Dead and all that crap. The plant is Look at that. This is not a beautiful woman. You mean? Serious woman, chicken. Angel, I think, uh, was talking in the back about getting some plastic enhancements himself. But I don't think uh, they were in the shape of what you're talking about, Rivera. <laughs> Hispana, la comunidad latina tienen una de las más bellezas, una de las mujeres más bellas. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, okay, stop it already. Stop it. Come on now, Rivera. The match is underway. We're getting a collar and elbow tie up here as Angel. You know, it's very interesting intergender match one on one with Angel along with Lady Victoria. Look at that kickoff from Victoria, showing great ring presence here in the early going. Question I have for you, Rivera. Being a friend of the Black Army, where is Crack? How come Crack's not at the ringside area? You know, Crack is backstage taking care of business, making sure no one run, run in the ring to mess around with his boy, Angel. Reverse hip toss right there from Lady Victoria. She was a professional announcer and joined impartiality in this match right here between man and woman, the gender like you talking about, the vocabulary. Victoria versus the Angel. History being made. And, this, and look at Angel just going right after Lady Victoria. Oh, wow. come on, a chop! Luckily, there's nothing, as you said, plastic up there. Tremendo bofetón. Angel taking it to Lady Victoria's fist, right to the head. I mean, they say a man should never hit a woman. Does that hold true in this match? I don't think so. Irish whip reversal from Victoria. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, big tough guy, Angel. Oh, whoa! He just slapped her across the face, and now look at this. Victoria going nuts. Oh, come on. There's no call for that. And look at that. Nothing. What is he thinking? What is he thinking, Victoria? Angel going for a low blow. Absolutely no effect as Victoria kicks Angel into the midsection numerous amount of times. Victoria going up top. What's she going to do? Comes out. Oh, with an arm drag, and Angel goes flying. Oh, there is a school in the anatomy. 
Look at this. With the and momentum off the rope. Going for a head scissors, but look at that. Into a slam, a side slam. Right on the head of Angel. Reverse it almost into a DDT right there. To the far side. Oh, look at that. Victoria to the outside. Angel just barely getting out of the way. Are you drooling over the monitor, Rivera? I am admiring. Not drooling. I'm admiration. This is pure admiration for the creation of, of God to mankind. Both of them now out on the concrete floor. Angel into the steel wow. chair. With the momentum, Lady Victoria showing what she's made of in this matchup, Rivera. You got to give it up for her and Mexico's most wanted. I mean, Angel crying like a little baby going against the girl for crying out loud. Huh? But are you smoking, Rivera? Shot now on the far side. Victoria with the upper hand against Angel. Angel, look at crashing once again like a little crybaby. And here comes. Oh no, don't tell me. Oh no! Rivera, you're drooling again. Angel, worst nightmare. Look at Angel. He wants. What's he gonna vomit? Please. Nightmare. Look at this angel wiping his face, holding his nose. Stinky poo. Chico, that was angel nightmare for my greatest fantasy. Bro. Wait, 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 wait. Rivera, come on, man. Wipe the drool off the mouth. Oh, look at that. Talk about a low blow. Victoria, what a move that was. Just pick the bottom rope while Angel was suspended over it. Again, to the near side. Victoria following him up. Oh, no, Angel just got that shoulder, that elbow. Did you see that, Rivera? Chico. Back right in the chin. Victoria is proving to the world that she can administer the punishment. She can take it. She can take it. You're right. Going well, for lakes. But look at this. Oh, headbutt. Headbutt to the groin. How mad must crack be right now? Lady Victoria still with the upper hand of this match. This man against woman match. One, two, near fall right there. Angel just barely had it. Just barely almost, had enough. He almost got out. it. He almost got it. That's that he has to be on top of the game, on top of the action. This referee, very shady, if you ask me. Very slow counting referee. This felony character. Right now, another Irish whip. Angel going for a huge clothesline. Luckily for Victoria, she ducked underneath two times. And look at this, going for it, looks like it. Oh, you can hit you. Hook the legs and went for a spine buster right there. Referee down again, near ball. And Victoria kicked out of that. you got to be talking about the resiliency of this woman in this match, Rivera. I mean, how can she be kicking out of these moves, but she's doing it. Boot to the midsection. Angel once again with the upper hand. Fisherman suplex coming up. Bridge. What a bridge that is. But only two. Angel. And you're watching some face from your body, it looks like. There is a new move in the repertoire. Angel decides. What a weirdo dude this Wait, guy is. Hey, hey. We're gritando aquí, chick. Tahango a poo? Look at that rake in the eyes. Rake in the eyes right across the top rope, exactly right. Larry Rivera. Rake, cuidado, Angel. Esta es una, una mujer, chick. Angel raking the eyes of Lady Victoria right across that top rope. Another Irish whip coming up. Oh, but Victoria stopped. The momentum did not quite catch her, but look at this. Going for perhaps a pile driver. you got to be kidding. Oh, a powerbomb. Whoa. The strike. And that's it. Victoria wins. Tremendous powerbomb. Victoria for the big one. Victoria. Unbelievable. What a win this was for Victoria, let alone Mexico's most wanted. Lady Victoria showing what she's made of here in Los Angeles. He's got it being made. Many events here at the Olympic Auditorium in the past. Frank must be living. World title defense is my highly rated. That is wrong. Tell me this now, since you're a good friend of the Black Army, is Angel going to get a bit a big spanking in the back from Crack for that loss? Well, let me tell you something. He's going to get a good duck, too. I'd like to give her a spank. Well, I see that you're here, TJ, and I see that you're here, GQ. We're all here, uh, except for one little thing, chaos, the one thing I ask you people for. What happened? I, I thought you guys knew what you're supposed to do. I thought you guys knew your own strengths, your own specialties. 
What happened, PJ? Yeah, what happened, PJ? Well, it was chaos. He's a real tough sell, Miss Kane. I mean, the guy's not human. I mean, anybody that can resist my motivational words and inspiration, you can't be human. You should have seen how much weight you were lifting. My God. But anyway, this chaos. I promise you, one way or another, he will be part of this organization. He is enterprise material, and he can't resist us. I agree. Better not. What is that? And what about you? What about you? What about me? What the hell happened? I'll tell you about it. It was a beautiful day, blue sky, beautiful sunset coming on, birds were chirping, everything was rolling right. I get up, I pull up next to him, I start talking to him, we're on the same level. We shake hands, we get moving, we're vibing, we're cruising, we're grooving, we're all on the same page, we're on the same boat, we're in the same game together. And it just didn't happen. You know, sometimes you get the deal, sometimes it slips by. Yeah, we do. What about you? What about, what about you? you? You talking about us? I, I thought you I, I thought you had your specialty. Okay. <laughs> My specialty is something that is much better when presented in person. And I only had a phone conversation with Chaos. You people went out and you had meetings with him in person. I expect more out of a meeting in person with someone. I mean, next time I'm not going to make the mistake of just calling him on the phone. Okay. It looks like we're gonna have to move on to plan B. Gentlemen know what plan B is, don't you? Ah, B is for chaos becoming the beneficiary of our bodacious benevolent side eye. How about you, TJ? Plan B? Plan B. Segment. Now I feel like, you know, I'm getting up that number one contender for that title, for the deathmatch title. The one that you had. You know? And it's just, I, I just don't feel, you know, I can go through another, you know, fight you before I get my shot. And it's just one of you know, the bottom line is, you know, you're my, you're my uncle. You know, we grew up together. I don't want to have to hurt each other, you know? I don't want to have to, you know, but hurt each other. This is a f***ing death match. Okay? Now get it through your little f***ing head. Curtain jerker. This is a f***ing death match. Okay? This is what I'm here for. This is the whole reason I'm here in FGW. Is that rat bastard messiah? I'm gonna get that belt from you. That's the whole purpose. Okay? I am gonna get that belt. 
Yeah, they say blood is thicker than water. But it's not thicker than that gold. Right? When it comes to family, okay? Okay, Rob Black's putting us together. Blame Rob Black. Don't blame me. Deathmatch, you're gonna be a f***ing victim. Okay? Hey, I still love you. So Victoria pins and defeats her male counterpart, Angel. But did you see Angel? Did you see him after he got that, that Bronco Buster? He almost lost his lunch from uh, Lady Victoria. She can, uh, she can ride me any day. Ladies and gentlemen, XPDO, you fan, it should not amaze you that the Angel is an excellent wrestler. But if you ask me for the opinion of the Larry Rivera, he was out of his element in this match. However, in this upcoming match at the Rapture, July 7th, at the Olympic Auditorium, this West Hollywood a street fight, the Angel will be much more in his element, Chico. That is more, he's going to feel more comfortable with the, the thing on the line. So I am making the prediction right now that Angel will be the victorious one in this West Hollywood street fight. Not to take anything away from the, the beauty, Victoria, but this is the, the, the type of match where Angel will thrive. For the love of God, I hope so. I kind of hope he wins this match. Fans, don't go anywhere. When we return, Vampiro and Shaggy, too dope, too dope, are going to be in the ring. Too dope. Tú sabes que esos dos son unos descarados. Too dope. Nos dejaron ahí en el I piso. Hanging, I was hanging out with them. They're showing me I'm the... Como muerto, como perro. No, 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 no. I love it. No, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Kevin. Oh, Kevin. Go. Guess what I do? Ha ha, can you guess? All right, you can't guess. Listen to me. Guess where Lazy is? Detroit? No. Hollywood. He's a DJ at a strip club. <laughs> and you know Sabu? Yeah. Guess where he is? Like, in, in, in Continental Championship Western Hemisphere Wrestling. Some backyard fat, you know, one of them kids that go on uh, Oprah Winfrey. Oh, so, mighty exactly. Fun. What did I say? You take the gold, take the pride, take their heart, take their job. Out of that PW, gone forever. Because Mighty have fallen. We've gotten rid of a lot of superstars in XPW. And what is that in your hand? Ah, uh, a packet from your buddy. Kevin, what did I tell you about that? Open them not near me. Look, at, last time it was dog. Yeah, okay. And then the one time it's not, you will blow your fingers up. Well, you always got to play games. What is it? I didn't call it. What? What the hell is that? Was it like cyanide or something? Hey, there you go. Hey, give me this. <laughs> that, that drink stuff that they have. You spray it all over the crowd. I always want to try this. Dude, can you bring it? It's supposed to be ready. It was to me! Wasn't it to me? Can you go for me? You're not going to drink it. What does this mean? I don't know. You're not going to drink it. Let me try it. Kevin, what does it mean? What? Why did they send me? There's a meaning. There's a deep, hidden meaning. You can only get it in Detroit. I don't know. Maybe they bad. Kevin. What? Kevin. Give me! Go get me a 
shirt. Give me a, a sponge. You have to bathe me or something. The dawning of a new era. Old rivalries rekindle. And new enemies emerge. As XPW presents Rapture live Saturday night, July 7th, from the Grand Olympic Auditorium in LA. Call Ticketmaster 213 480 3232 or the XPW box office at 818 755 8757. Who will survive the Rapture? Here it is, wrestling fans. The long awaited 8x10 photographs of Lizzie Borden. Here exclusively at xpwrestling.com, you can receive these beautiful, beautiful photographs personally autographed by Lizzie Borden herself and personally to you. $10 a piece, or you can get all four for $35. And when you buy this special package, you will get a limited edition bonus photograph. That's hot. Real hot. XPW, Lizzie Borden, get him. Hot, hot. Folks at Redemption, we all knew that we would see the in-ring debuts of Vampiro and Shaggy 2 Dope, member of the Insane Clown Posse. However, what we didn't know was whose side would they lie on? Would they lie with Josh Lazy? Would they go with the Black Army? It appeared in the beginning of Redemption, thumbs up, that they would go to Josh Lazy, the Ben turning on Lazy, turning their back, joining the Black Army. But this would not be the last time we saw Vamp and Shaggy come out to the ring. Right now, we're going to take a look at another involvement they had in a match at Redemption as well as what led up to Vicious Vic Grimes and Supreme round number two. Watch this. Check it out. Watch it. Watch it! That XPW was going to be crowning a deathmatch king Supreme wanted nothing more than to be champion. On the night of the first tournament, he battled his cousin Kid Chaos, beat the Messiah in the semifinals, and finally defeated Cronus to become the first XPW King of the Deathmatch. After successfully defending the strap against the likes of Cronus and Axorotten, Supreme began a feud with the man who would become his greatest foe, the Messiah. In what many consider amongst the greatest matches in the history of professional wrestling, the two battled at Go Funk Yourself. Supreme won the bout, but was severely injured post-match by brutal attack by the entire Black Army. The war between Supreme and the Messiah was far from over. At Metal Fest in November of 2000, the Messiah defeated Supreme to become the XPW King of the Deathmatch. But the title would not be the only thing Supreme would lose that night as the Messiah broke the neck of Supreme's ballet, putting her out of professional wrestling forever. Messiah was king and Supreme began to show a different side. Depressed by the actions, tactics, and victories of the Black Army, Supreme decided that while he would remain in XPW to pay his bills, and support his family. He would no longer put his life on the line by wrestling in a hardcore manner. Using his real name, Supreme was now Lester, and he was now wrestling purely technical style. When White Crash Johnny Webb wanted a shot at the King of the Deathmatch title, Raw Black ordered him to beat Supreme and prove his worth. Lester wrestled the match completely clean and was pinned by Webb after a handful of powder right between the eyes and a German suplex. He didn't even try to kick out. The loss to Webb wouldn't be his last either. Finding him to be a shell of a man he once was, Black figured his chance to get him out of XPW for good and offered Lester his release with a generous severance package. It was on the night of the second annual XPW King of the Deathmatch Tournament. The tournament Supreme had won the previous year 
and this year decided not to enter. Black called him into the ring and made the offer. Lester looked Black in the eyes and then got down on one knee. XPW fans were outraged, and Black and his attempt to get Supreme out of XPW, and even more by the fact that Lester seemed as if he was going to accept. Black told Lester to kiss his hand and all would be forgiven. Lester grabbed Black's hand, and after giving Black a brief moment to bask in his glory, he began to crush the XPW owner's hand. He then nailed each and every Black Army member, declaring Supreme was back. Though not officially entered in the tournament, Supreme interjected himself in the first round match of Pogo the Clown against Steve Rosano and pinned Rosano to advance to the semifinals. Supreme wanted nothing more than to win the tournament and claim the prize. His long-awaited rematch with the Messiah for the XPW King of the Deathmatch title. But the deck was stacked before Supreme even stepped foot in the ring. Black had made four of the eight tournament participants Black Army members in an attempt to assure that Messiah would be able to have the tournament winner lay down for him. By pinning Rosano, Supreme put a monkey wrench in the Black plan. But the night was far from over. After avenging his loss as Lester to Webb, beating him in a semifinal death match, Supreme and the new Black Army recruit Sick Rhymes were set to square off in the tournament finals. It was a brutal, no rope, barbed wire, beds of nails, glass, thumbtack, light bulbs, barbed wire, and ladders back. Supreme was able to knock Sick out and climb to the top of the ladder over 15 feet tall in preparation for his mega toad splash, which would have guaranteed him victory. But Rob Black ran through the crowd, into the ring, and shoved the ladder over, causing Supreme to crash some 20 feet through the table covered with barbed wire and light bulbs. Grimes was able to pin the original King of the Death Match to win the tournament and then lay down for the Messiah and the self-proclaimed Son of God retained his title. But the war between Supreme and the Black Army was not going to end there as the Army beat on the already injured Supreme New Jack whose bad blood with thick crimes is well documented, ran to ringside to make the slave. This led to Supreme teaming with the original gangsta to take on the Messiah and Grimes in the tag team match from hell. In one of the most bizarre match finishes in XPW history, Rob Black lit two tables on fire in Messiah's suplex New Jack for one as Supreme reversed the powerbomb attempt and Hurricane Rodney Grimes through the second. While smoke was out of control, fire extinguishers exhaust filled the ring. The ref raised Supreme's hand, but the official statement from Rob Black's office the following day refers to the decision, saying that Grimes had been on top of Supreme for the pitfall. Again, Supreme had been screwed by the Black Army, but now it was personal. He had something to prove against Grimes at the scene of the crime. Supreme and Grimes met one-on-one for the first time. It took an attack by Cronus, Crack, and Angel to give Grimes the advantage in the win. Supreme, now out for blood, challenged Grimes to a rematch at Redemption. The two behemoths brawled in and out of the ring and busted each other open with Grimes' pizza cutter and assortment of weapons. Both men fought back and forth, spilling their own blood for all of the XPW fans. As Supreme gained the upper hand, and looked to finish off Grimes. But then, Messiah hit the ring in an attempt to help his fellow army members pull off another victory over his arch rival, but ended up getting sent through a table. Now, back to a one-on-one encounter, Supreme was able to regain the advantage and pin Grimes following his mega toast splash. But as soon as the match was over, the Black Army, with new recruits, Vampiro and Shaggy 2 Dope hit the ring to brutalize Supreme. Their attack would be fended off by Damien 666 and Halloween, 
who were out for blood after their loss at scene of the crime to crack Cronus and Angel. The army left ringside as Supreme and Mexico's most wanted celebrated their retreat. But the embarrassment caused by Damien 666 and Halloween would not go unpunished. For just trying to figure out this whole XPW thing, we know the people are cool as shit, but everybody back there, I don't know what the fing story is. So those two idiots, Stanley and Halloween, are coming out here with the chairs. You want to get down and dirty? The chairs from Chapo and the Chapo from Mexico. That's up to you, motherfucker. Come on down, big boys. Well, this is it. They're calling out Halloween. It's Damien 666. Mexico's most wanted. I mean, Rivera, can you imagine? Can you possibly imagine if these two guys from south of the border were to get a win here tonight? Wow. And after after Lady Victoria just got a win over Angel, what a huge night this would be for them. Hey, who cares about that? Who People cares? Look at Victoria, bro. Who cares? Look at that. Man, you're that. telling me to stop drooling last week. Man, you better stop drooling. I, I am sorry. I can't help it. This is the pride of the Hispanic women. Well, look at Here's this. The XPW. Look at that coming to the eighth. Like an onslaught when uh, Damien. Mexico's most wanted. Halloween. Jumped in the ring. I mean, they just got sneak attacked, ambushed, if you will, from Shaggy to Dope and Vampiro. Look at that clothesline from the ICP zone. Shaggy to Dope, you got to hand it to him. Chico on the road, performing with the group. He's like bouncing up and down like an old jumping jack. And still like. has time to, to learn the professional wrestling technique. And look at that from behind. Not just the violent crap from his partner, Vampiro Canadiense. Damien 666 planning. Shaggy 2 dope way up high. Rivera. Look at that. And he nailed him with yeah. it. Going for the count. That could have been an early fall for the debuting ICP and Vampiro at the hands of Mexico's most wanted. And I got to give it up for these two guys. I mean, they've shown me so much coming here to the United States, to XPW, to the Grand Olympic Auditorium. And this, like I said, man, what a big match this is for them. A big night it's been for them. Shaggy 2 dope, double team from Mexico's Most Wanted, double elbow. Halloween getting tagged in, and now these two Mexico's Most Wanted join what they are most excellent at, that is teamwork. Shaggy 2 dope taking it from Mexico's Most Wanted. There's a face buster at the hand of Damien 666 and all. There's wow. a low drop kick right to the head from Halloween. Going for the pin again. Hernandez down. Referee right around there for the two count as Vampiro interrupts the count. Damien and Hollywood, Halloween prove that the team that played together stayed together. Sorry. Chico indeed. It's Chico. I think Hernandez trying to maintain some. Calling him to get out of the ring. And look at the double teaming going on on the other side. Patrick Hernandez did not see that whatsoever from the distraction of Vampiro. Shaggy 2 Dope gets the foot up. Halloween goes down, and Shaggy 2 Dope makes the tag off the Vampiro. Wow! Oh, that spinning heel kick from the top that? rope. Vampiro, the high up in the height. Vampiro for such a huge guy. You see the way he got over the corner of the way. Wow, tremendous choke slam, Keith. What a choke slam that was from this monster, this sheer monster, Vampiro. And he's taking it to Halloween and Damien, both of Mexico's most wanted by himself, literally, as Shaggy Tudo resting on the ring apron. And look at these series of headbutts, Rivera. Vampiro joined the power. Trent, look at that. Taking complete control of this match from Halloween, making him look like a little doll in the corner of the ring here in the Olympic Auditorium. XPW, chick. Right now, Vampiro. Right now, Vampiro probably in the best shape of his career, debuting tonight at Redemption, like you said, Larry Rivera here at the Grand Olympic Auditorium. But Halloween with a counter, monkey flip from the oh, right on his feet. The agility of Vampiro, what a kick! March a lot, spinning roundhouse kick. March a lot training exhibit by Vampiro here. He spent a lot of time watching tape from all over the country. What all the work? Martial arts expertise from Vampiro, the size, the agility. This guy has it all. He's done so much in the industry. Now he's looking to prove himself in 
the proving ground of professional wrestling, XPW. Right now, Damian, oh look at this double team on each side, Rivera. Posted on each side of the far side. For a Conrad, perhaps, coming up from Damian, 6 16 nailed him. But Halloween upstairs with a huge splash. Referee right around for the two count and he just barely popped out of it once again. This is one definite advantage that Mexico most won at half over Vampiro and the Chaggy 2 dope is the knowledge of tag oh. team, knowledge of working as a team, as one single unit. Gee. Well, that's exactly right, Rivera. I mean, these two have been a team for so many years, not only in Mexico, not only in XPW, but all over the world. I mean, you got to give it up. I mean, I'll give it up for Shaggy 2 dope. Then you add the brain and the assistance and the beauty of the Lady Victoria, and you have a package that is hard to beat. Now Vampiro on the receiving end. Here on the concrete floor is Damien 66 whips him right into the security railing. Halloween and Damien double teaming on Vampiro. Shaggy 2 dope living in the ring now, assisting his partner here on the concrete. Shaggy 2 dope. Look at this guy, doesn't look like a wrestler, Chico, but he can handle the action in the ring when it comes time. He's holding his own as far as it's going tonight. Earlier making their debut, turning on Josh Lazy and apparently joining the Rob Black Army. I still can't believe that one, Rivera. I can't believe it. Why, why so hard to believe? I can't believe I'm about sitting here that. with you. Greatness goes with greatness. Why am I strength with... goes with the strength. And why am I with you, you buffoon? Look at this. And Piro continuing to chop away as the crowd reacts in unison here at the Grand Olympic Auditorium. Chico, you only aspire to be one half a cook. Aquí la Rivera, brother. Tell aquí, him, tell aquí him mismo, bro. Aquí te lo estoy diciendo. Aquí en el Olympic. Calm down. Shaggy two up now getting involved. Vampiro Canadiense showing a little Both fresh sign, sign of exhaustion. Both fresh men coming into the ring. Drop kick, Shaggy two up right into the ring and right out of the ring onto the concrete floor at the hand of Damien Six oh. again. Oh, look at this, right over the railing. Oh, he's caught his back right on the top of that security railing. Action spilling outside. Oh, no. look at this, Rivera. Oh, right to the groin. A lot of people wondering where the, the Chaggy Dope 2 partner is, the Violent J. The J. Violent. I know you told me. You already the told Violin. me. The, the Vego exploded in the face and make the eye, infection in the eye, bro. There you go. <laughs> Double team once again from Mexico's most wanted. Shaggy two up to the far side and a huge clothesline. A series of them now. Bulldog coming up from Halloween and he nailed them. Halloween says it's over apparently. Going for the pin. Referee down one, two, only two. And Vampiro interrupting the count. Pulling the hair right out of the socket of Halloween. And it looks like another double team coming up perhaps. The tag is made. Halloween getting down. Looks like oh, right off the back. But he oh. missed. Shaggy barely getting out of the way. He had a little bit left over there. Going for a roundhouse. DDT. Tornado DDT. Shaggy go alert enough and quick enough to, to know what was coming and get out of the way. Now he goes for the tag to a fresh vampiro who now will clean up. Take care of it. Oh, and he ducked. Well, I don't know what he was doing there, but he got the boot. Oh, but the boot square to the chin of Damien. And Damien goes clothesline right out over the top. Vampiro caught with the momentum as well right there. Many of the XPW fans here aware of the classic battle that Vampiro had in Mexico City, Chick. Vampiro, we, we missed it. Our camera's missed but what a kick that was from Halloween on the Vampiro as Halloween just barely missed with the drop kick. Link drop wow. on the top. Shaggy Tudo. High altitude. Referee down. One, two. No, look at this. High cross body. Continue. High altitude from the Vampiro. Oh! Spinning back kick from Vampiro. And look at this. He's going for the nail in the coffin. Tremendous violence. One, two, three. It's over. It is all over. Se acabó. Se acabó aquí en el Olympic. Tenemos the winner. I can't believe it, Vampiro and the ICP, Shaggy 2 Dope, with the win here in Los Angeles. And listen to the fans, Rivera, listen to them. Vampiro Canadiense absolutely on fire tonight, Chico, with the martial arts move all over the place, back and forth. Tremendo choice by the Vampiro tonight. Excellent, excellent rest. Sounds like a little more brown nose, and now that they're in the, the guy at the I know what I'm talking about.
A lot of ICP fans in the crowd tonight. It's a big win from Van Piro in Shake to Go of the East St. Cloud Posse over Mexico's most wanted team in Halloween. Look at all the fans, the admiration. Look at the, the tattoo work. Oh. Oh. Wait, wait a minute, that sounds oh. familiar. That's my line. What are you doing? Oh. Hey, quiet. Get quiet. Get a head that keeps getting vampiro. Get to your right. Los ganadores de este encuentro. What a win that was for their debut night. Are you done? Are you, are, are you finished? What a win that was for the ICP and Vampiros here at the Grand Olympic on Korean debut in XPW. On May 26th at the Grand Olympic Auditorium in downtown Los Angeles, XPW made history with redemption. And now you can watch exclusively on XPW Home Video the historic night by logging on to www.xpwrestling.com and ordering your copy of Redemption or Come to Rapture on Saturday, July 7th at the Grand Olympic Auditorium and purchase your copy of Redemption. Witness. One of the most brutal death matches in XPW history as White Trash Johnny Webb takes on Kick Chaos in a bed of nails, light bulbs, thumbtacks, and barbed wire match that was too brutal to be shown on American television. And the shocking debut of Vampiro and Shaggy Two Dope of the Insane Clown Posse and see the Messiah usher in a new era as he becomes the XPW World Heavyweight Champion and New Jack, 35-foot leap of faith. Log on to xpwrestling.com and get your copy of Redemption today. Now, at this point, I have got to admit, Rivera Chico, that I was very impressed with the in-ring debut of Vampire, who I think is in the greatest shape of his career in professional wrestling. I was very surprised and impressed with the debut of Shaggy Tudo. However, I was very disappointed. All these people joining the very shady Raw Black Army were all victorious, but I was impressed nonetheless. Let me tell you something, Chico, XPW fan. I, too, Hilary Rivera, was jubilant over the victory of the Vampiro and the Dope 2 Chaggy over the Mexico Most Wanted. Incredible victory in the ring. But later, my joy turned to sadness, to anger, because I, I was knocked out. Uh, not con concho, the concucho. A lot of cocoa up there, huh? Oye, cuidado, cuidado. By this vampiro and the two chaggy dog. So, Chick, I'm going to say something right now. These two may have exhibited the excellent wrestling skill in the ring, but two chaggy dog, two chaggy. Shaggy two dog. Nothing but a rapper, and that's he will all ever be. Never a wrestler, Chick. And even the vampiro. Better be aware, better be careful, because the Messiah time is going to come at the rapture on July 7th, Saturday night, at the Olympic Auditorium. And speaking of rapture, folks, of course, I mentioned earlier in the program, this is it. Two weeks! Two weeks away, tickets are going very, very fast. However, a limited amount are still on sale. Call Ticketmaster, charge by phone, 213 Four eight zero thirty two thirty two. Go to Ticketmaster.com or any any of the Ticketmaster locations here in the Southern California area. Now you want to talk about limited seats? Of course, two weeks left for Saturday, July seventh at Rapture in downtown LA. You got to be talking about limited seats available here at the XPW offices. Special quality seating for you, the fans. Eight one eight seven five five eighty seven fifty seven. Or you could come to the offices here in North Hollywood at 11133 Van Owen Street, sweet letter D, Dorco Dude Like. Right. Of course, you can also go to xpwrestling.com. What a night it's going to be once again. Saturday night. It's a big Saturday night right here in downtown LA, just three or four blocks away from good old Staples Center. At 8 p.m. Saturday night, July 7th, Rapture. Be there. A huge Saturday night, and unfortunately, you're going to be there, buddy boy. That's right. 
That's Both, right. Thank you very much for joining us here on XPW TV. The true host, Chris Klaus. Aquí está mirando al host. Olvídate ese, chico. Good night. We see you next week. Vampiro, July 7th is weeks away. You get your shot at this, the XPW World Heavyweight title. You get your shot at the Holy Grail. At Redemption, you put your hands on me. You put your hands on Rob Black. You put your hands on Lizzie Borden. That was the biggest mistake of your life. The Bible, the Bible states as a rapture, being a great earthquake, where the true believers go to heaven. July 7th is my rapture. You know what that means for you, Vampiro? Not a damn thing, because you're never getting this. You're not going to heaven, and you're not going to hell. You know why? That'd be too easy for you. You thought you'd come in XPW? and mow over anybody you thought, huh? It's not that easy. Everybody here is hungry, especially me. You're never getting this. July 7th, the Rapture Grand Olympic Auditorium is my time. The future's mine, Vampiro. There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing the Insane Clown Posse can do about it. There's nothing the Dark Carnival can do about it. And there sure as hell ain't nothing any XPW fan can do about it. This belt belongs to me. July 7th, I'll be waiting for you, Vampiro. Let's see if you show up. Oh, I can't believe that Kevin. He's, he's covering me in Fago. Fago. What the hell is Fago? This ICP thing, man, it's driving me nuts. What do you think it all means? Fago. Send me a bottle of Fago. I, I don't know. I don't know. Why don't I think whole major guns do? I don't like it. I don't think it's fair. I mean, the whole black army's not going to be with me. I'm going to go by myself. Don't worry about it. Don't I always take care of everything? So I got a plan. Huh? So I always take care of it? Yeah. All right, then. Don't worry about it. Forget about it. But listen, I still want you to train. And I got two top-notch trainers. Want they're going to train? Yeah. They're going to make you a mean, mean killing machine. Don't worry. But it starts tomorrow. All right? Okay. Okay. Mm. Oh, 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 yes, oh. yes. I gotta do something about this. I can't believe this. Oh, man. Not again.